Good morning and welcome back. So, no matter what your lifestyle is, everyone can relate to this one thing. We're busy, right? Mm -hmm. We're all very busy. You've got work, you've got school, you've got family, and there's always this burning need to overschedule ourselves to feel productive. But when does that productivity turn toxic? That's the question. So joining us now with tips on avoiding toxic busyness is leadership coach Teresa Vozo. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Teresa. I want to know where this comes from. Why do we put such a value on being busy and, and getting things done? And God forbid you put your feet up and you put a chore off to tomorrow. Right? There's a, there's a number, of, number of things that contribute to this, but let me first say this. We live now in what I call an attention-driven economy. So there are so many things that are competing for our attention, and so that is also part of what gives rise to what we are doing. And this whole achievement orientation is also what is an enabler of this toxic overwork or toxic busy culture. We associate doing with achievement and what we get wrong is that sometimes that lends itself to an extreme and leads to overwork. Hmm. Um, we were just talking in commercial break here. The difference between being busy mm -hmm. and mm. actually being productive, where's that line? Yeah, well, the thing is, it's the line really is individual. So when you are producing something, is it contributing to your long-term goals? Is it contributing to an outcome that you'd like to see happen in your life? That's when you know that you are being productive. However, if you are just task mastering, mastering, where you switch from one thing to the other and you're just what, doing what I call the to-do list, then really you have to ask yourself the question, is this to-do list actually contributing to my longer term goals or even shorter term, or am I just being busy for the sake of being busy, or even worse, looking busy. Well, and that's it. I was going to talk yeah. about uh, Instagram. There's a ton of accounts I need to stop following. <laughs> These pseudo uh, uh, inspirational accounts where they're like, I get up at 6 a.m. and I eat a raw mm. chicken, <laughs> and then I go to the gym, and then what I do this, this, and I do <laughs> yeah. handstands to work. I walk on my hands to work. What are you doing to get better? It's like, I'm yeah, scrolling Instagram, happen. bro. Can you stop <laughs> right. with the hustle culture? Right. I love that. And you know what? You're not alone. I think this is what we also call toxic positivity. Yes. You only have to go on Instagram and you will see so many references to the 5 a.m. club or live your best life or whatever is trite and sounding trendy in the moment. And it's not that those things are in and of itself bad things. I'm an early morning riser too. But we're, we're focusing so much on the masses when what we really should be focusing on is what does productive look like to you or to the organization that you work for? And how are you actually contributing to that? And then also looking at it in, in like these cups, right? So it, it could be work and it could be personal life. It could be as a parent, it could be as a wife, a husband, a partner, yeah. all that sort of stuff, because you need to fill those cups in some way, shape or form without stretching yourself too thin, right? How do you, exactly. how do you know though, Teresa, if, if you are falling victim to this toxic busyness, like how do you know, how do you sound the alarm on yourself? Yeah, great question. I would say the very first thing, and I've said this before when I was on here, is listen to your body's signals. They will be the first clue that you are tending toward a, I guess, an emotional state of too much busyness. So that looks like things like anxiety, overwork, exhaustion, being tired, and usually that sprouts when you start noticing that you can't say no, that your schedule is overplanned. It's when you are multitasking. So I always ask this question when I'm leading my clients, how many of you have multiple tabs open on your computer? Of, often, many, because we have this almost fear of missing out that if we don't check something or are not available, then what will happen? So there's this constant need to be on and checking things. And a lot of that is um, habit. And that's what the good news is, is that this is also just a habit that can be reversed. Can we talk about rise and grind culture, this, uh, you know, you need a second gig and why mm. aren't you maximizing this yeah. and monetizing that? Everything is now transactional. Mm -hmm. Everything is, yeah. you do something so you can get money. We need to yeah. kill that idea that you need to be working mm. at whatever you're working at 24 seven. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I agree. I think there's a couple things to that actually. I think one is that the pandemic really gave rise to what I call 
you know, almost like a pause, right? We, a lot of people have stopped and reevaluated what they want to do with their careers. I see this a lot in my practice. And as part of that reevaluation, if you will, people have started quote unquote side gigs to see or to, you know, wet their, their toes in something completely new. That I totally get. However, I think what you're speaking to, which is a really fair point, is that we need to commoditize or create a product or a money-making venture on the side, which only propagates this sense of being on all the time or in creation mode all the time. And what I often encourage people is rather than constantly be in creative or creation mode, how much time are you spending in the resting mode? Because a lot of the times that's where great innovation and great ideas become available is when you've actually quieted down enough to listen and you're not constantly on that hamster wheel of being busy. Really good tips, Teresa. Really good we, tips. We've run out of time, but yeah, I think some definitely some food for thought. If you're waking up right now, if you're part of that 5 a.m. club and you feel like you have to be part of that 5 a.m. club to be successful, Sit back, relax, reevaluate. And I can yeah. promise if you follow me on Instagram, I will never encourage you to do anything ever. I won't talk about getting up. I won't do a <laughs> thing like that at all. Just give you some laughs. Yeah, You're no good. rising, no grinding, no hustling at all. No grinding. Let's hope it's a morning show. <laughs> Teresa, thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Nice to be here. Take care. She's great. Tips. I love it.